Radio. Here's your host, Steve Ulsher. All right, welcome back to another edition of Reinvention Radio. And I just found these really, like, really awesome, um, I, what would you call these, like, mm, studded, Whose headphones are these, man? It's for another know. show, Girls Rock, I think. It is. Uh, this is like this is like They're total cool. throw. This is total They're throwback, bedazzled. right here. They are bedazzled. Yeah. And, and actually, you know what? I have to admit, I crimped my hair just because I knew that we were going to be talking about Ready for the World. We we're going to be doing the '80s thing and, and whatnot. So, yeah. oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> what's up, Rufus? All right, so we got Rufus and Jenny Triplett on, and you guys have been doing amazing things as a power couple now for over 25 years. What what I was remiss to say is that, like, you're just you're, you're I, I guess you're just kind of like you're slumming it today with Reinvention Radio, and we appreciate that because you guys are like on Doctor, <laughs> you're on Doctor Phil, you're like on on CNN. I mean, like you you guys are everywhere, and you're just like, all right, well, we'll just hang with Steve for a little while, just because you know we, it's like it's a Christmas present. So thank you for the late Christmas present. I appreciate that. <laughs> All right. No, at all, Steve. It's so I'm tired, man. No, it's not. It's not slumming. We appreciate any and all support, and you've been you've been down with us for quite some time. Very, very. We'll very ask true. you at the end of the show. And you've been running me around the country. <laughs> all right, so let's do this. You guys have. I mean, you raised three. I mean, big, strong men, right? I mean, they just, I've seen the pictures. I mean, like literally. I don't. Are they all like six four, like two four? How big are those kids? Because Rufus, I mean, you, Rufus is a pretty good sized guy, but these kids are like, I mean, they are mad. How, right. how, how did you keep those we're, kids? We're in shorties the- compared to them. They're all taller than us. All right, so let's let's talk yeah, about I'm, that. I'm like a thug. <laughs> <laughs> so so let's talk about that. How did you guys keep those three boys in? Like, because I got two boys and and I've got my hands full. Mary, you got two girls. And I know that's always a challenge. And Rich, you've just got Trish, and that's like enough. No, no I know, Olivia, I know you got, I know Olivia. you guys, I know you got Olivia your little. has him trained. Yeah, I know oh. you got your little one as well. And and we got White Wade as uh, as our other child as well. That's our yes. third son. So how did you guys like do it? I mean, because there, I know you don't talk about like what you should do as a parent, but what did you guys do that you found to be effective? And and of course, this all relates back to reinventing wedded bliss because if your relationship with your kids are off center, your relationship with your spouse is going to be way off center. Right. So let's, let's talk about the, right. (laughs) So let's talk about the kids for a minute. And what exactly did you do? What I did, man, all I'm talking was playing football. So I bought me some dumbbells and some weights. And I started lifting with them. You started lifting nice. with them. They wanted to lift. I was gonna lift right with them. Yeah, <laughs> keep them busy. <laughs> and so, so all three sons, <laughs> all three sons about, play football. It was about balance, you mm. know, the discipline and the nurturing. Yeah, you I was nurturing. To, the discipline. I was nurturing. And the nurturing. <laughs> you have to have the balance between. You just couldn't be this total Joe Jackson. You know, with the situation. Oh, who? Joe Jackson. Did anybody do Joe Jackson up in here? You did Joe <laughs> Are Jackson. Are they bickering? You just couldn't be Joe Jackson. You had to give them balance. <laughs> and we taught them a lot about respect and survival. Who are you calling Joe Jackson? <laughs> <laughs> Don't call me on my name. Joe right, Jackson so, so Jr. Here, so here's the thing. So reinvention radio, where relationships die. <laughs> is, right? Wedded bliss. Right? This is like, this is the, yeah, this is like the sayonara. And, you know, it's been 20, it's been a great run, guys. 25 years. Way to go. 26 and you're 26, done. And, right. And it, and it all ended here on reinvention radio. So, but that's a really good point because like, <laughs> you know, people talk about like, I don't know if you want online they always have like these funny little memes you know and uh-huh. during the christmas time they have the you know those little elf on the shelves right and it's like they had this picture of uh, willy wonka and they were like elf on the shelf when i was growing up we had a belt on the shelf and that was <laughs> yeah. like right that's how we, that's how we kept our kids in life. <laughs> so that's uh, that's kind of what i'm belt thinking on the shelf if you want boy they're gonna come knocking at the door right and yeah a lot of times our motto was not on our watch mm. you know if you're gonna do something Please try to remember that we were once your age, you know, and you're not even going to do it as slick as what we did it and got away. Ain't going to do it at all up in here. You aren't going to do it at all. <laughs> not on my watch. Because we, you know, we're going to outthink you. We're going to have the plan. As a matter of fact, several times we let you thought you were getting away with it and just showed up. We did a bad boy. We rolled up on them. <laughs> Y'all old school got to remember. Y'all old school got to remember. We've been through this. We've done this when we were little. So we should outsmart the kids. Growing up, because they think they're smarter than us. Exactly. Right. Like, we will let you, uh, we will stimulate that trust. 
with you. That's that's exactly what we did. Simulate. Oh, mom, I'm going to um the library and I'm going to be okay. Mm. Okay, you you go. All right, have a good old time. Go to the library. Yeah, go make sure you check out the reference section because I was just at the library, so I know they got a new section. Got a questionnaire when you get home from the library. <laughs> exactly, and then you know, you let them go and think about it. We sitting up here, we wait. Is is it long enough? Mm-hmm. Long enough? Mm-hmm. Let's roll. Let's roll. Roll out. <laughs> I'll meet you up there. I'll meet you at the library. Uh, so uh, here's what's funny too, right? Like when I was growing up, here's what my parents did. They were just cruel. They were like, okay, we're going to go out of town for a few days. And I was thinking like me and my brother and my sister, we were all kind of like, okay, cool. You guys have a nice time. You go out of town, you go do your thing. And like literally about eight hours later, like after we had bought all the booze and after like all the kids had shown up, they come back knocking on the door. Like, can we come in? It's like, oh my God. So Did they my, really? No, my, right. They were smart. That's smart. Right. Because they knew it. Like, no, don't worry about it. Everything will be fine at the house. Yeah. We can take care of ourselves. Yeah. Eight so, hours so you bought right. booze for but, your parents is what yeah. you're basically we ended up donating to our <laughs> here parents. it is yeah. mom and dad yeah, you can you can have it all right so let, let me ask you guys this so you both served in the military how do you think that being in the military translates to keeping those three young men and not young men anymore but keeping those three young men in light like what sort of training did you find yourself going oh i learned that in the military i'm going to use this here with Smack my kids down. Oh. Standing. They told me they hated standing on that wall. <laughs> I had to stand for a long time in the military. I hated yeah, it. The, the military introduced me to standing and holding a towel, like with your arms stretched out. And I, my parents never did that. Bruh, believe me, my children caught the military. Wait, wait, wait. You have to demonstrate. So we're, we're, we're live on Blab right now, so people can actually see you. So just so I know what that looks like. What what do you have your kids do? Stand, stand up on that wall real quick. I just want to see it. So you have to, what do you have to do? You have to put, you put both hands, you put both hands on the wall. No. What are you doing? All right. So you're no, standing. No, no hands. You ha- no hands. No hands. So, so you, you got the towel and you're holding it like this. Right. So, but like oh, so you have a met, towel in front of you. Arms straight out though. Arms straight out. Arms straight out. Towel yeah. in front of you. And then you just lean yeah. your back so up against the it. wall. No, oh. no, no. You got to stand up. Yeah. See, they didn't think that it was going to be heavy. Well, yeah. the arm was going to start saying, falling. Exactly. You, yeah. you, you, you can't last for long. But he would make them do this. Turn around. Let me see. Let me see. Okay. Two inches. Two inches. Two inches. From the wall. So no, two inches two from inches, the wall. Two inches off the wall. Facing for the wall. Hour. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Hour. See. Instead of putting my hands on them, I try to give them, uh, I, have, I try to use other options of discipline. Which it worked because they didn't. They didn't want to stand on that wall. They didn't want to hold them hands out. No. Oh man! So no. that and that's... you have to give you have to give them chances. You know, chance after chance after chance after chance. You know, and then you have to do some type of corrective behavior. No, no. now I ain't saying all kids just gonna work on some of them. Hey, you have to do what you got to do. <laughs> but some kids, you know, you can just do a little something for them. Yeah. And let's just say we were tried more in their teen years because mm-hmm. they just really thought Ooh, they were I would try. You know, <laughs> and they will they will tell people that no, nah, y'all ain't got our parents. Y'all mm-hmm. go ahead. Uh-huh. This don't pretend to put me down. So you know, hey, hey, like I said, the bigger they get, that's why I'm being numb, man. Because the bigger they got, I had to get a little big with them. You got to get on the program yourself, right? That's funny. I, so what what did one of the kids have to do, just out of curiosity, to earn the wall treatment? Because I know, like, in my house, all they'd have to do is, like, just look at me funny. I'd be like, to the wall. No, you are. You're so <laughs> nice to your boys. So what, 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 in, in, in your house, in the triplet house, what would they have to do to earn the wall? Well, uh, disrespect, like, talking, like, if you talk to me like I'm one of your partners, mm. disrespect as far as that. Yeah, hey, well, we, let, let me give you some wall time. Or, you know, if I come in. Some wall time. Uh, <laughs> wall time. I ask, you, I, ask, <laughs> I ask you to wash my dishes. The dish is still in the sink. Let me give you a little wall time to think about what you can do. Right. And if you got sad and they remember this punishment, it's like, okay, we had three boys. So they would rotate the week. You know, you take a week, I take a week, you take a week, that kind of thing. Mm. But since that didn't seem to work and the dishes weren't getting washed properly to our standards, because they they have different standards. Yeah, yeah, not not so Yeah, right? Yeah, our standards. So let's take, okay, days. Every third day, you take a day, you take a day, you take a day, so we can find out who is messing up with these dishes. Mm. That 
stop working, okay? So then it say, y'all don't wash all three every day. One wash, one rinse, one dry, check the dishes so we can find out who is flipping on that wash. <laughs> who is messing up? Why are these things? <laughs> order is to sell on each other? Yeah. You didn't clean this right. Exactly. You didn't clean this good. <laughs> yeah. So why is this getting, you know, messed up? So oh, then man. when they decided that they just don't want to do it every day, they got upset. We let it go for about a week when we're pulling messed up dishes out of the cabinets and things, which I cannot stand. That. That oh, is somebody going to clean my dishes. So we decided, okay, <laughs> 2 o'clock in the morning, good, let's wake them up. Wake up, take everything out the cabinets and everything. Y'all going to remember this, okay, and wash hey, every hey, dish. Hey, y'all can remember this. You do two of those, take everything out of my cabinet and clean it. Your dishes will be clean. <laughs> <laughs> so what, what, and you got to get up and go to school the next day. They remember that. Oh, man. So what, what I love about that is like it's it's like all for one or one for all. So like if, if one of the three messes up, Y'all get the wall, <laughs> like that. right? So, yeah. so now Teamwork. it's like, yep. so now they start like looking at each yep. other, mm -hmm. like mm, you did not do your job. So now they start actually disciplining one another, yep. which which I love. Okay, so does that? Is yeah, that but, that's, what, but that's how they did it in the military, though. Mm -hmm. You know, somebody mess up, everybody do push up. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody drop, give me twenty. One person mess up, which means that you help as as a team. You were taking so that on all, all them boys. Me, so you should have been one at a time. Don't be taking on everybody. <laughs> really. <laughs> See, it's so like a, it's like an earthquake. Yeah, it's this, like an earthquake. You you just have to release a little bit at a time. So you don't get the big arguments. And right. last so then we have to talk. This is what made them have wedded bliss. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right, more on reinvention radio with Rufus and Jenny Triplett right after this.